Here's how to create the perfect background music for your YouTube videos with AI. As creators, we're often working with really small budgets, meaning we can't always get copyright free, high quality music that matches our videos. But let me show you the exact workflow we use at Eleven Labs to add music to our YouTube videos. So the very first step before we even generate and create music is doing a first rough edit. Here, you just want to make sure that you remove everything that you don't want in your video so you have a rough idea of the type of music you need and for what section, because most of the time, for one YouTube video, you want multiple different songs, maybe one for the intro, the body, the outro. And if you've got different chapters, you'll often jump between different genres of music. And so here I've got the intro of my video. And if I play it back, adding sound effects to your videos, whether it's YouTube content or AI films, really helps immerse the viewer into the viewing experience. And so I've got this intro to my video, but it feels quite empty. And I want to emphasize the importance of it and make it a little bit more dynamic. And so here, I want to add some intriguing yet fast paced music. And now to create the music, we simply head to Eleven Music, which is Eleven Labs AI music generator. And if you haven't already created an account, you can click the first link in the description and get started for free. And so here it's as simple as describing the song that you want for your YouTube video. And you can be quite broad or you can get very specific. And so for example, I wanted some dynamic intro music for a tech tutorial. And so the prompt that I came up with was dynamic tech intro arpeggiator background music. And here we have a few different things going on. First of all, I mentioned that it's dynamic. So more than likely 11 music is going to see that as being fast paced. I mentioned the use case it's for, so tech intro. I had this clear idea and vision of there being an arpeggiator in the background. So I added that. And then I gave even more context to 11 music saying that it was background music. Now my intro is never longer than 30 seconds to a minute long. So here for the duration, I just went to choose 30 seconds. Now you can have multiple variations at the same time, but I like to just generate one, see how it goes and iterate from there. So I just select one. And then finally, I just make sure to check the instrumental button because I want this to be instrumental background music for my YouTube intro. And from here, I can simply click generate and then Eleven Music is going to create the background music for my YouTube video based off the prompt I gave it. And here I gave it a prompt of six words, but the important thing when writing an AI music prompt is knowing what you're looking for. So for example, if you have a fast paced tutorial section within your video or a fast paced story, you could type something like bebop jazz. Or if you're creating a thriller storytelling video, you might want to type out ominous music. And I found that it really helps if you describe the music you're looking for based on the emotion that you're looking to convey within your video during that section. And the examples I've given in this video are quite short, but I do wanna mention that you can get really specific with the prompt when creating music. You can give the exact BPM, the exact instruments that you want, and also provide as much context as to what the music is for. And so here, if we take a look at this prompt, you can see that we're providing a bunch of context to the AI to generate the music. We're giving the instruments we want, we're giving the emotion that we want to convey, we're giving the context as to what we're going to use this video for, we're providing the BPM and much, much more. And then once your music has been generated by Eleven Music, we can go ahead and preview it here. So this is the song based off the prompt, Dynamic Tech Intro Arpeggiator Background Music. So if I click play, and as you can see, we've got a song that matches my prompt quite well. Now, if I wasn't happy with a certain instrument within the actual song, or if I feel like a section was too long, I can go ahead and continue iterating based off of this song that has been generated. I can literally just go ahead and edit it within the timeline and then simply click generate and it will regenerate. I can also go and add or remove specific styles from the entire track. Or if I like the approach, but I want something completely new based on the same prompt, I can go ahead and simply generate one more variant. Once I'm happy with the song I've generated, I can simply click the download button and then download it as a WAV file, which will be the highest quality audio file that we can use in our video project. And so now if I go back into Premiere Pro, I can drag in the music and I can start trimming it and adjusting it. And here, this is when we're doing the final edit. And the reason we're doing the final edit now is that sometimes you want to edit your video to match the music a little bit, which will help immensely with the flow of your YouTube content. And so here I've trimmed off a little bit of the beginning of the music, I'm going to reduce the gain to minus 12 decibels just so it fits in as background music. And now let's preview it and see if it matches. Adding sound effects to your videos, whether it's YouTube content or AI films, really helps immerse the viewer into the viewing experience. And so if you take a look. Okay, so I think this is great, but the beginning starts off too low. So I'm actually gonna cut to the second section right here where it starts over, but it's at a higher volume. I'm going to 
smooth it in just so we don't hear a, a click or a pop. And I'm also going to lower the volume again just a little bit. Let's do another minus 9 dB. And now let's preview it again. Adding sound effects to your videos, whether it's YouTube content or AI films, really helps immerse the viewer into the viewing experience. And so if you take a look at this video, Okay, so as we can see, when the drums kick in here, this is why you want to do the final edit with the music, because here I actually might adjust this and then have the drums start when I start showing what I'm talking about, because the drums, when they kick in, it feels like we're changing section. And so let's play it from the beginning now with the adjustments I've just made. Adding sound effects to your videos, whether it's YouTube content or AI films, really helps immerse the viewer into the viewing experience. And so if you take a look at this video, and so as you can see, we've now tweaked the final edit so the music fits in with the video perfectly. And then I would just go ahead and do this for all of the remaining sections. And when you've got a long YouTube video that's 10, 15, 20 minutes long, you often want to change music at least once every three minutes or at the beginning of every chapter within your video so it's not too repetitive. And so the best workflow is to do the rough cut, list out the different sections you want, write down what emotion that you want to convey within that section and what type of music you want, then go and generate all of it, bring all of your music back into your video editor, and then do the final cut where you match up the music to each and every section. And that is the best video editing workflow when it comes to adding music and AI music to your videos. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more AI content tutorials just like this one, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.